this section I'm going to talk about uh, function notation and so the form when we put a function in this form where we use f of x that's function notation and basically what it tells you is it tells you that this expression 3x minus 2 it's like a vending machine where x is the input and whatever you get when you plug in the x the 3x minus 2 is the output so for instance if we wanted you to evaluate this function at x equal 2 we could we could just put a 2 in here for x and that would tell us that you're going to evaluate the function f of x at x equal 2 and so to do that you would simply put 2 in for x and you would get 3 times 2 minus 2 and the output would be 4 and so I'm going to show you some functions here and each function defines a set of operations or rules that should be applied to whatever the number is that you plug into it. So for instance here I'm giving you a function f of x equals 3x plus the absolute value of x and I want it I want to evaluate it when x is negative 2. So basically what we're saying is what is f when x is negative 2. So this just means f evaluated at negative 2. So that just means we plug a negative 2 in everywhere we see an x here. Now don't don't think this is f times negative 2. It means f evaluated at negative 2. So it means this function evaluated at negative 2. So f evaluated at negative 2 would be 3 times negative 2 plus the absolute value of negative 2. As you can see I wrote that here. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So the result would be negative 6 plus 2 which is negative 4. Now this next function is f of x equals x cubed minus x plus 3 and you're asked to evaluate it at x equal negative 3. So in other words we're trying to find the function evaluated at negative 3. So f of negative 3. So f of negative 3 we would go to the function and where we have x cubed we would replace, replace the x with negative 3 so we'd have negative 3 cubed and then here if we replace x with negative 3 we'd have minus negative 3 and then for the constant we just bring the constant down so if you calculate negative 3 cubed that's negative 27 and this is going to be positive 3 and then plus another 3 so if you have negative 27 plus 3 plus 3 that's going to equal negative 21 now here I've written a rational function where you have 3t in the numerator and t minus 5 in the denominator and we want to evaluate this at t equal 3 so that means we're looking for s of 3 in other words s evaluated at 3 so the rule here says on top you multiply 3 times whatever t is so that would be 3 times 3 and then on bottom you take t minus 5 so that would be 3 minus 5 so you would have 9 over negative 2 which is the same as negative 9 halves now notice if I take this same function and try to evaluate it at t equal 5 you'll get an undefined value because at t equal 5 that should say a 5 right there so at s of 5 you get 3 times 5 which is 15 over 5 minus 5 and that would give you 15 over 0 which is undefined and so that's because uh, 5 is not in the domain of this function. t actually cannot equal 5 for this function. Okay, now sometimes we might want to evaluate a function at another expression instead of a number. So for instance, what if I give you this function, x squared minus 4x plus 2, and I want it evaluated at the expression 2a minus 1. Well, just like we plugged in the numbers for x earlier, this time everywhere we have an x, we'll plug in the 2a minus 1. So f evaluated at 2a minus 1 would equal, since this is x squared, we'd have 2a minus 1 quantity squared. And since this is minus 4 times x, we'd have minus 4 
times 2a minus 1, and then you just bring the plus 2 down. Now to square this binomial, you would actually get 4a squared minus 4a plus 1. And then when you distribute the minus 4 through these two terms, you'll get minus 8a plus 4. And then we bring down the plus 2. The last step is to collect like terms. So there's only one a squared term, 4a squared. And then we have 4a or minus 4a minus 8a. That gives us minus 12a. And then we have 1 plus 4 plus 2, which is 7. So our final answer is 4a squared minus 12a plus 7. And that's how you evaluate functions. In the next video, I'll show you how to evaluate difference quotients.